How much are your shirts? A dollar each. Dollar each. I just got this shirt. You got the shirt? Yep. You didn't buy no jeans and all that, huh? No. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Is it alright is it alright if I look around? Yeah. yeah. Alright, thank you. Oh, well, it's here too early. That's where I got. I still play this. Uh, five bucks a piece. No, I've never even been flipped. Took them out. Said, ah, too to the state sale. Huh? I'm recognizing you. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> What's your name? Vito. Vito and Ron, how you doing? Nice to meet you, man. Hey, man. We don't have one. It's on YouTube all the time. Hey, thanks, yeah. man. Appreciate you watching. Always commenting on there. I'm always <laughs> like, you follow me. <laughs> <laughs> check out that estate sales yeah, well, i'm not big on estate sales no. I, just, I just think they're overpriced I, i'll go in like day two they when, 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 a ton uh, of vintage clothing though did they like, that's that's the only reason i went but i got there like 20 minutes early hey, hey. and there was like 100 people in line already oh uh, see that's why i don't like that i'll wait yeah how much asking for this uh blanket how much for the blanket how much for a blanket two dollars two okay yeah, I've had bad luck at estate sales around That's here. It's like, it seems like they're also overpriced. Even day two when they go half off, it's still like... Oh, yeah, especially the, the silver lining estate ones. Yeah, those yeah. are the worst. Yeah. It's like, I, I yeah, they, they know what they have, so... Yeah, exactly. Which is good. I mean, they're doing it for their customers, so... Yeah. I just take this. Do you know that? Thank you. Thank you very much. Rita, it was nice being you, buddy. You too, man. Take care.
Does this uh, still work, as far as you know? You know what? It does. I just used it yesterday. Okay. Um, we kept it because it plays VHS. Okay. How much are you asking for it? Um, Ten dollars. Ten. Yeah, I used it yesterday to see which videos I could throw away and which had my family. Okay. And I probably don't need this. I'll take this. Yeah, I'll keep looking. Okay. Zero. Do you need any shirts? Collared shirts? Do you want to wear Tan bonitos los colores de estos. So I owe you uh, 13 for all this right here. So I owe you 13 for all this. You owe me $13? 13. Perfect. Yep. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, how you doing? How much are your shoes? Ten. How much are your figures? These a dollar each? Dollar each, okay.
What about your hats? Hats are a dollar? Dollar? Angels. How much are your shirts? Don't reach. Don't reach. I'm sorry. Do you need a bag for your stuff? Oh yeah, if you don't mind. Thank you. So are you what seven for all that? Yeah, seven okay. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Good morning, how you doing? How much asking for the pants? 50 cents? Okay. Hmm. I'll just take these two. Okay. All right. I can see that bird on her shoulder there. Huh? I didn't yeah. even notice that bird on her shoulder. That's awesome. Yep. You want back? You want back? Yes, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys, just got back from Friday morning garage sales, October 16th, 2020. I went to about seven or eight garage sales, and I got to tell you guys right now, this haul is not going to be the most exciting. Um, a lot of clothing, 99% clothing, actually, <laughs> to be honest with you, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, you can only get what's out there, and if people don't have stuff, you can't force yourself to buy things just for the sake of buying stuff. So, I'm going to show you this haul. And like I said, it's not too exciting. But with that being said, I did find two items that I'm going to show you that I consider pretty big home runs. So let's get with the haul and see exactly what we got. The old school California Angels hat. This is American Needle, which is kind of a good brand. Cooperstown Collection. Um, this is another one. Um, the old California Angels. The only problem is it is a fitted, so it doesn't, it's not as valuable as the... Um, snapbacks but i got each for a dollar so i cannot go wrong and that as well angels and this is a um, new era so and it still has a tag there so i got for a dollar so 10 bucks maybe each i'm thinking i got uh three of these toys star wars toys this is a uh star wars princess leia organa i got this star wars ray jedi training and I got this thing here. This is a, another Ray Star Wars trading. Each of those for a dollar. 
So I really can't go on with that. Didn't look them up, so I'm not sure what they're worth. Probably not worth that much, maybe seven, eight bucks. But you know, it's still profit. So even though I didn't really get some great stuff, um, the good thing about these yard sales that I did pick up stuff is a lot of the stuff was super cheap. And here's an example. I got two pairs of women's jeans. This is a American rag lie boot and a pair of Lucky Brands. Lucky Brands right there. This is the one made in the USA. And I got each of these for 50 cents. So a dollar total. So not bad at all. So 14, 15 bucks out of 50 cents. You can't beat that. That's what I'm looking to sell them for. Picked up this cool Nike dry fit women's long sleeve. I got this also for a dollar. This is a small, so that might be an issue, but I think the color itself is what's going to sell. Look at that beautiful, like turquoise blue. And I got this for a dollar. Probably going to try to sell this for like 10 bucks. I got these two things for a dollar. This is a um, long sleeve white shirt. This is uh, the college, the Gonzaga College. Those who don't know Gonzaga, it's a college in uh, Washington. And they're kind of known for their uh, basketball team. They have a very, very good basketball team. Um, this is a Coliseum Athletic. Got this for a dollar. This one I may keep because I, I kind of like Gonzaga. And it is my size, 2X. So I may keep that one for myself. This is a hoodie. Uh, it's Seattle University. Um, Seattle University is, of course, in Seattle. <laughs> but I wouldn't I pick this up. The only thing, the only reason why I picked it up is because it's a uh, Jansport. The Jansport is a known brand. Uh, as far as backpacks, you know, if you find backpacks, especially the one with the leather bottom, those go for really good money. But the name Jansport, I think, I believe Jansport, like a lot of college kids like to wear this brand. So you see a lot of kids wa wearing this Jansport. So pretty good condition. And uh, Jansport, Seattle University, Seattle University. So I got this for a dollar, so I cannot go wrong. Picked up this uh, Titleist a hat. Um, anytime I see Titleist, I'm gonna buy it. I paid a dollar for this. L there it is right there. A little bit of rough condition, as you can see here. I don't know if you can, the camera can pick that up, but it's kind of in rough condition. It has USA on the side. Uh, this is made in China, 100% cotton, but the name Titus will sell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna w clean this up, see how it comes out, and then probably sell for like 15, 20 bucks. But you know, Titus is, a, the name Titus, if you see it on golf shirts and like uh, jackets, these sell well like the best combination that i can find with titleist if you can find a titleist with the uh, golf brand foot joy those two together that is big money right there if you can find it so but as it were these this titleist sh should go for like maybe 15 20 bucks after i cleaned it now this was a cool find here i got this in the same yard so when i met uh, a viewer uh vito shout out to you vito i'm glad to have met you Anyways, I found this really cool, like, tapestry blanket. I don't know if you can see it. This New York, uh, New York, New York Casino, I believe. Yeah, it's a New York, New York Casino. I don't know if you can see it there. New York, a little bit of rough condition. I, I see a little bit of piling now, but that's not going to be issue. I can just take that out. Anyways, this is uh, from the 90s, I believe, because the brand is Northwest. Northwest Company. Let me see right there. I know that the Northwest Blanket Company is from the 90s. And this is uh, made in the USA. And uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. Uh, I got this for two bucks. I'm not sure what it's worth. I have to do some more research on it. But, you know, a little bit of a, like I said, a little bit of rough condition, a little bit of piling, which I will indicate on the listing. But I'm sure somebody will uh, want something like this. And I just thought it was really, really cool. So, yeah, two bucks. You can't beat that. Finding stuff at garage sales that'll sell for like a hundred bucks is like the greatest thing in the world, especially when you get it cheap. And I got two items that I potentially can go for a hundred dollars. And it's stuff like that that realize why I go to garage sales, why I love garage sales so much. All right, the first item I'm gonna show you is a dress shirt. Is this the, looks kind of plain, right? Dress shirt there as as a guy um needle head uh check. But it's the brand that's going to sell. This is a Brioni. Now, those of you guys who don't know anything about clothing, this brand, Brioni, is a super high-end Italian brand. If you can pick up, like, the suits or the sports coats, they sell for, like, sick money. Like, 
I'm talking about five hundred dollars. I think these like retail for like the suits like over a couple grand. And though the shirts itself sold for like two three hundred dollars just for the shirts itself. You know, I'm doing a quick look and I don't see any flaws. So this could. It's hundred percent cotton made in Italy. But yeah, so be on the lookout for that brand, Brioni. Um, I could not believe I found a Brioni dress shirt at a yard sale, and this cost me a dollar. So I'm looking at maybe $100 at the high end, and at the low end, probably 50 to 70 bucks. That's what I'm looking at. So um, I, mean, I have to keep, I have to look at, look at the shirt a little closely, but right now I'm seeing no flaws, no missing buttons. Let me see here. Nope, no missing buttons. So I'm very super happy about getting this Brioni sold. So incredible find a Brioni at a yard sale for a dollar. What can you do? I love it. And the final thing I'm gonna show you is I paid 10 bucks for this. And it's one of those things where, you know, I don't know why it's worth money, but it is. It's a, it's this thing right here. It's a combination TV, VCR from the brand Toshiba. Now, those of you guys who watched the, the video just saw that I told who watched last week's video said I wouldn't grab any electronics unless <laughs> I tested it out. But this at this garage sale, there was so much chaos going on that I just didn't think that they had time to test it. So it was $10. I paid the $10. I got home and I tested it. And it does work. <laughs> and the one of the and a great thing about this is it also I also have this with it. It came with the original remote. <laughs> so this is a super sick find. Um, I've seen those things, those VCR, especially the Toshiba brand, the VHS TV combos go for over a hundred dollars. Especially with the remote. I even seen like these TVs without the remote go for like 70 bucks. So for 10 bucks, this should go for at least a hundred. That's what I'm going to price it at. The only problem I have with it, and you probably will realize it, it's very bulky. It's very heavy. So it's going to cost a lot to ship, but I'm going to take that risk to make a hundred dollars off a $10 buy. And you know, the thing about stuff like this is even though they will cost a lot to ship, you know, if somebody really wants that item, and this is like a rule of thumb for many like heavy items. If somebody really wants a particular item, they will pay the shipping no matter how much it is just to get that item. And I believe that this is a hot item that somebody's going to want and they're willing to pay whatever the shipping cost is. And I think it's going to be a lot. It's going to be, I mean, I picked it up. It was pretty heavy. It's about 15, 20 pounds. So it's a super, super heavy thing. And it's going to be, like I said, paying the butt to ship it. But I'm willing to take that risk. So I'll just be very, very careful and make sure it's really secure. So super happy with that TV. Major League home run. And I got to have a garage sales. Who knew? <laughs> I didn't really spend that much money, as I said. You know, other than the TV, which spent 10 bucks, everything else was a dollar. So I probably only spend like maybe 20, 25 bucks total for everything that you saw. So even though it wasn't the greatest haul as fall as as far as individual items, I think overall, I'm gonna do very, very well. So happy that I got all this. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up. If you wanna see more of these type of videos, hit that subscribe button and hit that alarm so you know when these videos are gonna come out. And if you wanna share with your friends, please do get the word out for your boy, Ronnie Bizzle. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.